I'm Kevin Elizabeth, a wedding film photographer based in San Diego, and today's topic is going to be what I call the grumpy groom. So I get a lot of amazing couples, but every now and then I have a really super sweet, excited bride and what I call a grumpy groom. And let me tell you, I don't love working with grumpy grooms. I can make it work, but if you feel like your groom might be a grumpy groom, it is time to have a discussion with him. Because anybody who is in front of the camera and is having a bad attitude or being really negative or just being standoffish, they're gonna bring down the rest of the group and they're gonna have to make the photographer work twice as hard to try to make them happy. And it's just a really frustrating situation for everybody. So one of the things I'll say is that I often understand that some of these grooms don't wanna be in front of the camera because maybe they're like self-conscious or because they don't like the way they look in photos because they've never actually had somebody direct them in photos. So a lot of these times these problems can get solved while I'm working with the groom and can show him that he is doing a great job. And I've had a lot of grooms like that loosen up throughout the process. Now having said that, I have had a lot of grooms who were just very difficult to work with from start to finish complained the whole time about photos, really kind of became a bummer in this atmosphere and brought everybody else down and made me not really enjoy working with them. And I really like to work with couples who love me and I love them. That's my ideal situation. And I want all the couples booking me to be like that. Unfortunately, that's not always the case, but I will say I'm going to make this video for you guys so that if you have a grumpy groom, you know what to do to get him to loosen up and to be more amenable to having his photos taken because these photos are important. You're not just doing them for no reason. So if you do have a groom who's maybe a little bit more self-conscious and that's why he's kind of being a little bit rude or standoffish or whatever it may be, then I would have a chat with him and say, hey, we hired an amazing photographer. He or she is going to really make you feel great in front of the camera. You can have a beer before our session, whatever you need to like relax. Just know that the photographer has you covered. And now I find that if that conversation is had, that can really help quite a lot. Um, another thing that I see with grooms is that they sometimes think the photos are stupid and the bride really loves the photos. And I'm saying the grumpy groom in this video because I've almost never had, I actually don't think I've ever had a bride who didn't love photos. It's always been the groom if anybody is not wanting to be there. <laughs> so the groom is usually the one who is giving me trouble, not the bride for the most part. So if the groom thinks the photos are stupid, I would just have a conversation and say, hey, these are so important to me. I know you don't really care about the pictures, but honestly, they're not even for now. They're for decades later. So that we can look back on these photos with our children or with our pets, whoever you want to have in your life, and we can enjoy those memories all over again. They'll be beautiful to hang in our home. You'll really come to love them. But ultimately, these are so important to me. So can you please just try to enjoy this experience and make it pleasant because you know this is important to me. So I would hope that it's important to you because of that. Now, hopefully, if you have a selfless, loving fiance, they are going to hear something like that and know that they need to be really nice and supportive and try to have a good time. So if you have a groom who's not like that, I don't really know what to tell you. I think there might be another issue going on if they can't respect the things that you love. But I would say that maybe at least having that conversation can be helpful because I know for things that I have done in my life that maybe David didn't want to do, if I just explain this is something I really want to do and it's important to me, that pretty much always gets him to be right on my side and supportive. You know, he might not be loving it, but he's going to be there and he's going to be nice and happy and just very sweet about the whole thing. So that's something that's really great. And I hope that 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 is the case for you too. If you just simply have a groom who's got a bad attitude, first of all, I feel very sorry for you. That must be very hard to deal with in your life. And I know that especially when you throw somebody like that into photos, that it might not always be the best situation. Maybe you're very nervous now how your fiance is going to react, but I'm gonna say that you gotta really try hard to make them enjoy it as much as possible. So if you know that there's, maybe your groom loves golfing and you usually go with him, maybe you guys can shoot part of your engagement photos, for example, on a golf course, and maybe he can have a beer or a drink or food, whatever it is that kind of makes him happy, you can incorporate that into the session. So therefore it does become more appealing to your groom. So that's one thing that you can do to help. You can also have the conversation that I talked about before, but if your groom is just still not wanting to be there, 
doesn't want to be a part of it, then what I would suggest to you is to have him in as few photos as possible. So maybe you focus more on yourself in the photos. Maybe you guys have a dog, you and the dog are in the photos more. Whatever it may be, you can definitely play up the bride more than the groom. And on the wedding day, that does tend to happen more because the bride's in this ornate dress, the groom is in a tux or a suit, whatever it may be. So it's just one of those things that happens naturally on the wedding day. But for the engagement session, you can just tell the photographer, hey, you can grab more shots of me by myself, um, candid of us so he feels more comfortable and isn't going to complain the whole time and then a couple of us smiling at the camera whatever so i would just kind of pull out all of the stops maybe say hey after the session is over then we can go do this one thing you've been wanting me to do that i haven't been wanting to do so just try to make it so that you are doing things that make him happy or make him more interested or at least get him to play nice um, just whatever it may be do not let your groom treat the photographer poorly that is not fun. I have been treated rudely by a couple of grooms in my past and it really kind of sucked the joy out of the moment for me. Now, of course, I still have to be really professional and do a great job, but internally, it just kind of sucks to have somebody who doesn't want to be there and is being rude about it or making negative comments. That is no fun for anybody. So at the bare minimum, if your groom just straight up has a bad attitude in general, just tell him to be quiet. <laughs> That's the best thing you can do. Tell him to be quiet and try to smile whenever told. Um, that's honestly the best advice I can give for that. But hopefully you have a groom who is responsive to some of the other things by bribing him with beer or whatever he loves or a sandwich, whatever he really is very interested in makes him happy or by just explaining to him that this is very important to you. That is going to be it for today's grumpy groom video. Hopefully you guys don't have a grumpy groom. Maybe he's just nervous and that's kind of making him be very antsy and kind of against the photos. That can be solved easily. Um, so just hopefully that's the case for you guys. I think that's the case for most men who aren't wanting to take photos is that they just don't feel that comfortable in front of the camera. And I can totally understand that. And if that's the case, definitely make sure that you hire a photographer like me who focuses a lot on making sure that everybody is very comfortable. So that's all I have to say about that. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.